Well, out there today, we had plenty of clouds, but temperatures managed to get above average. In Eugene, we made it up to 51 degrees. That is five degrees above average for this time of year, starting off even in the upper 30s instead of those 20s like we saw a couple days ago. High temperatures across the rest of the area. We saw the 40s in both Bend and Sun River, 48 in Roseburg, so close to 50 degrees, but of course, not quite there. Temperatures in Eugene again, 51, Corvallis 50. Out along the coast, everyone saw the low 50s this afternoon. Now now as we move into the evening and into tonight, closing the weekend, probably closing a nice extended winter break, temperatures are still on the mild side along the coast, looking at those low 50s. We're at 50 still in both Corvallis and Eugene, 45 now in Roseburg, and into Central Oregon, 45 in Bend. Taking a look at Storm Tracker 9 satellite and radar, we have plenty of clouds, and they'll stick around as we move into tonight. Also looking at some showers still, mainly between Newport, Corvallis, and north there. Heavy rain even further off to the north, the storm that moved in yet, or this morning has mainly been focused to our north. So very heavy rainfall. They're looking at a couple inches of rain out along the coast and in the mountains up towards Seattle. But for us, we've only picked up a few hundredths of an inch with this system. And this storm is going to continue to move out of the area as we get into tonight and tomorrow. Now, high pressure is going to build on in. It's going to keep the storm out of our area that is spinning in the central Pacific. And it is going to keep us dry for the next couple of days. This high pressure system, though, is not going to be like what we saw last week where we had high pressure and full control and our skies were crystal clear and blue. We are going to keep quite a few clouds out there to, or as we get into tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday and also going to add in some fog as well, especially in the mornings. So out along the coast, so this is one exception. You're not going to see the fog, but you are going to see the clouds tomorrow. We'll have a slight chance for showers, mainly Newport and Florence, though Reedsport and Coos Bay just going to keep it dry. Temperatures into the 50s. For those in the Amqua Basin, also going to see those 50s, mostly cloudy skies and also some fog out there again tomorrow morning. But good news is it won't be freezing fog, so roads should not be slick. In the foothills, you're looking at temperatures near 50 degrees over the passes into the low 40s. For those in Central Oregon, highs will be near 50 degrees as well. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, back into the low 50s tomorrow afternoon. Some fog out there in the morning by the afternoon. Still going to keep quite a few clouds out there, but we should see a peak of the sunshine, hopefully. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast along the coast. You are going to keep the clouds Tuesday and Wednesday. Showers returning late in the day on Thursday into early Friday. Temperatures remaining in the mid to upper 50s. The Amqua Basin, high temperatures continue to be in the low 50s through the week. We'll keep it cloudy and also foggy Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning. Next chance for rain returns Thursday night. The Cascades, a few rain showers early in the morning on Monday. Otherwise, you'll see the sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday with highs into the 40s. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, slight chance for a shower in the morning, mainly Corvallis, Philomath, Sweet Home. Kind of draw a line there and go north. Otherwise, you'll keep the clouds all the way through Thursday. Rain showers returning Thursday night into Friday. Temperatures right near 50 degrees for the week.